Hi everyone, um, this is just a video to show you how you can remotely connect to your car's screen uh, when your PC and car is on the same network. So this is useful for when you're at home and you want to do something in your car, but you don't want to be sitting in the car, right? You, do, you want to be sitting in the comfort at your desk. Um, alternatively, you could also use this on your laptop when you're on the go. Um, for some reason, you're near the car, but not in the car. Oh, so there's various different use cases, but uh, first uh, you need to go to my iCloud Drive share. It's in the link in the description below. So public BID share, BID out of three software, remote control. Everything is already here. Okay. Uh, let me just make so all these files um, don't like you can copy it to your, to your laptop, but make sure you don't remove anything. So in the empty space, uh, I'm using Windows 10, by the way, so I'm not sure if this works on Mac. Um, you'll need to do your own research on that. This is for Windows users only. Um, so you'll hold the shift key on your keyboard and right click the empty space. Um, you can't see it here, but there's an open PowerShell window here button. Um, once it opens, uh, I shall. So once it opens, you'll see this. So basically you go here, shift right click, open PowerShell window, and this will pop. So make sure you do it in the folder where the remote control stuff is. Okay, shift right click. Then you want to type full stop backslash SCRCPY dot EXE space minus sign minus sign TCPIP equals. Um, for my car, it's 10.0.0.45. Um, I will teach you how to find your cars. Um, internal IP address very shortly. So once we do that, oh, I did a typo here, so it didn't work. So remove the H, CPY. Cool. And then you can see my car screen is here. Um, the very first time you do it, um, you, you will need to go into your car to accept the connection. Um, but what, once you do that, um, assuming you're using the same connection, um, for example, your home Wi-Fi, um, then this will work just fine without any issues. Um, yeah, so to find your IP address, first you need to go into your car, um, go to system settings, go to your internet tab, the Wi-Fi, so my home network's got 1R. So just to be clear, your PC and your car has to be on the same Wi-Fi network or this will not work. When you're connected, click on the I symbol or tap on it. So you're looking for the IP address. This is the internal IP address. This is not the IP address like known to the internet. So it doesn't matter if, if, if I'm showing this, right? You, you can't do anything to my <laughs> to my car. Right, so my car is 10.0.0.45. Yours could be 192.168.0.20 you know, or something. So change this part based on what this number is for your car, if that makes sense. Um, and once you do that, you just type in full stop backslash scrcpy.exe space, make sure there's a space, minus sign, minus sign, tcpip equals, and then this number, okay? Make sure you put the full stops in the right place or it won't work. And that's about it, once you're in, um, left click simulates a tap, uh, left click and hold and drag to simulate swiping. Um, and yeah, this is pretty useful. Um, I like tweaking my car a lot, so I would remote start it and then do this for, for 10 or 20 minutes and then shut the car off. Um, and once you actually come into the car using this application, SCR, CPY, screen copy, you can actually turn the um, air conditioner off to save some energy. Because as you know, when you remote start the car, um, it, it turns the air conditioner on as well. So that's, yeah, not, not very good for energy savings. But yeah, uh, once you do that, you'll be in the car. And you can do everything you, you want to do in the car, but you're not physically in the car. That makes sense. So this is very, very convenient. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching, guys.